This is how the video is going to go, guys. This is how the video is going to go. We're going to cover exactly what the leak was and how it went down. Then we've got what the actual leaks are in terms of the images and the documents. I was quick enough to download and save copies of all of it. So we've got the shit good to go. And then we're going to discuss what is still left unsaid and what can still be revealed tomorrow in what I expect to be the World of Warcraft deep dive panel. I think it's probably going to go into this a little bit, but we will see. We'll see. There was a post on MMO Champion for 9.1 Chains of Destruction total uh, title and logo leak. Now this is for Shadowlands. And then they had this. But that wasn't the focal point. That wasn't the center point of this post. They were more interested in Shadowlands. Shadowlands is cool. I like it. But it ain't TBC. So then I read through this stuff very quickly, which is basically people just talking about things and the hype and is this legit? And then someone says, dude, just go to their press center website you can keyword search and you can find Shadowlands. And I'm like, fuck that. I need to find burning. I need to find the burning crusade. Classic. This is what we need. We've had a terrible, terrible last 12 months. COVID-19 has been taking the piss out of everyone's lives. We need some burning crusade. I need some burning crusade. So I'm like, bam, let me head to that website. I typed in burning up in the top here and then I got met with a load of assets which have now been removed very quickly but you know me I'm a nerd I knew that they were gonna do this they're gonna take it down I downloaded everything I put it on two different discords one of them also being mine I put it on my own personal Google Drive and backed it up on another drive as well just in case now we have such wonderful things such as the developer headshots and things for who's involved. We've got Brian Birmingham. He was heavily involved in Classic and is legitimately a fucking legend. John Height and Patrick Dawson are involved but they're also Shadowlands developers so... They're not committed. And then we've got the lovely Holly Longdale. Basically Holly and Brian are the two people who are doing their utmost to make this shit happen by the looks of it. Because I know that these two, John and Patrick, they're probably very deep in the Shadowlands Matrix. And we're unplugging from that. We're unplugging. So then if we go to my Google Drive, you can see a load of documents here. A load of documents. Screenshots. Kel Foss. Lady Vash. Lady Vash. Illidank. Illidaddy. Looking pretty hot. Looking like they might have been given that classic WoW update to their textures. Things are looking a lot better than if you boot up a private server right now. This is good stuff. We got the Blood Elf Paladins on the Horde. We got the Drenay Shaman on the Alliance side. And it... It's looking nice. It's all looking nice. Sam, welcome in, brother. Ladies and gentlemen, you are not prepared for the Burning Crusade Classic is 100% confirmed and will be announced tomorrow. It's going down. It's happening. We've got the high res logo here, which is something that we were never given properly from the actual Classic WoW. This is a high res PNG. They've gone for it. This is the keynote artwork for tomorrow's panel. Kale on the left, Vash on the right, Illidaddy is in the middle. It's confirmed. So this is the Burning Crusade classic fact sheet. This is the English version. Uh, there were ones for French, German, Spanish, Italian. This is a pretty horrible layout to read. Can I switch it to dark mode? Yes, I can. There we go. Let's zoom in a bit. Okay. Designed by Blizzard Entertainment is an MMORPG for the PC and Mac releasing in 2021. There's also an email here. Uh, I mean, I wish I would have actually known that ahead of time. I would have I would have definitely have fucking deleted that just for the sake of it. But yeah, they probably just need to disable this email address uh, immediately. If anyone works on the Microsoft Exchange 365 server side of Blizzard Entertainment or Activision Blizzard, just fucking disable that. This poor guy is going to get... Devin is going to have a very bad time. So many fucking emails. Journey through the Dark Portal once again in World of Warcraft Burning Crusade Classic TM. Originally 
released in January 2007, the Burning Crusade summoned the heroes of Azeroth to the shattered and fell scarred realm of Outland to stop an invasion of the demonic Burning Legion. In 2021, you're going back in time, baby. Blizzard's Entertainment has recreated for the first World of Warcraft expansion that will give players from around the world a chance to return to Outland as it was once to relive an era of timeless adventure and rep grinds and attunements and PvP and flying anyway <clears throat> and experience what awaits beyond the Dark Portal for the first time. I'm going to zoom it out a little bit. Rediscover the broken world of Outland. Flee from the fell reavers who roam Hellfire Peninsula. Dive deep beneath the swamps of Zangamash to confront what lurks below and clash with the demonic agents of the Burning Legion in the shadow of the Black Temple. Join the fight as a Blood Elf or Draenei. The ranks of the Horde and Alliance grow. Fight for the Horde as the Blood Elves seeking a new source of arcane power that once sustained them. Or join the Alliance as the Draenei. Blue aliens from outer space who are kind of hot. <clears throat> and they're also exiles from Outland if you're interested in that little bit of the lore there. The saga unfolds over time. Content from the original game will roll out in phases. At a cadence paced for the, for the WoW Classic community. Now, this is this is important. Prepare for the opening of the Black Temple. Gear up to confront the gods of Zulaman and gather your allies to face the fury of the Sunwell. Now, they mentioned three of the largest kind of like releases and patch content that comes in, in the form of raids at least, in the life cycle of Burning Crusade. However, there are some things that are a little bit wobbly wibbly wobbly there. Kind of implies that tier four and five, they're gonna be in a release. Maybe they're in a release, maybe they're not. It's interesting and hopefully that's something that they're gonna be able to clarify on more tomorrow because it really, really is important that they get that right. There's a massive debate between whether or not it should just be tier four for the launch and then maybe a month, month and a half later, tier five. Maybe it should be tier four and five right off the bat and out the gate. It depends. Both have positives and negatives. Burning Crusade features Reborn. Prove the... Wait, what? Prove your prowess in the arena PvP system. Enhance your gear with a dual crafting profession. Take the disguise over Outland on flying mounts. Choose whether to seek the aid of the Aldor or the Scribes of Shatrath and much more. Nice Choose your error. Prior to the Burning Crusade Classics release, WoW Classic players, now current WoW Classic players, can decide whether to advance each of their characters to the Burning Crusade era with the rest of their realm or to continue playing the original WoW Classic content on the new Classic Era servers. That implies that the earlier leaks that we've seen before that say all the servers are being switched over to TBC on a date, and if you want to keep playing Classic, you're going to have to copy your character over to a Classic like Eternal Realm, basically, lines this up nicely. That's an important thing that I need to make a note of and fucking cycle back to in a minute. Included with existing World of Warcraft subs, as with WoW Classic, anyone who subscribes to World of Warcraft can also play the Burning Crusade Classic for no additional cost, giving players the freedom to enjoy multiple eras of Azeroth at their own pace. This is nice. This is very nice. So that is the classic fact sheet document that I managed to snag before they took it down. It clarifies certain points and then it leaves other things unanswered that are going to be fucking burning crusade, burning questions for tomorrow's Q&A uh, like section. If they do like a live one, which they probably won't. I think they've already rolled out like the opportunity for people to send in questions. So, so we got some good, we got some good information here. We got some good information. There's still stuff to be cleared up in terms of the phasing and the releasing of stuff, like the content. Content from the original game rollout and phases, good, but they mentioned the Black Temple, Zulaman, and Sunwell. Now, there is another leak that we can, uh, we can go over. We've got... Leak that happened like a week ago-ish. Uh, all servers transition to TBC on May the 4th. Uh, still a possibility. All servers get pre-patch April 20th. Still a possibility, but unlikely, I think. Vanilla Fresh servers to launch at 20th. Still a possibility, I think. Because they haven't cleared that up yet. No plans for TBC Fresh servers. Confirmed. No TBC Fresh. It's not a thing. I don't think it will happen. You'll have to wait until... F I don't know. We'll, we'll have to wait. I don't think they're even, they're even bothered considering it. 
There's no need. Blizzard are in a position where they have a win, win, win scenario. There's no lose. No matter what dumb moves they decide to make, it's money in the bank all round. So they will probably opt for as little work as possible considering at the size of the team. It's so small. Classic Rare Realms to be launched around May the 4th. I mean, that's still a possibility, but I think... I don't know. I don't know if that's... I don't know if that's really likely. I think Fresh is actually unlikely as well, actually. Fresh Vanilla is unlikely. Classic Rare Realms to launch around May 4th. To, yeah, okay. This... I think this is basically confirmed from... From what we... Uh, from what we've got from the document already. That feels like it's correct. Possibility for microtransactions. This is not even fucking remotely, like... This is not even remotely discussed or hinted at at all in this document which honestly is a f is a fucking good thing because all of the discussions recently since the um the quarterly earnings update for activision blizzard like the way that everyone has basically been reading the actual words and in between the lines of the stuff discussed in the quarterly update they basically are saying like warzone being free to play and having microtransactions has made them so much money that they want to do more of that same with like mobile stuff whether or not they do, we don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But the fact that it's not even remotely hinted that here is a good good indicator of at least TBC remaining untouched in terms of paying for gold, for transfer, uh, uh, sorry, for server uh, faction change, boosts, all that shit. So still on loan. Hopefully it's a no. Then we got the content release schedule. Tier 4 and 5 at launch. This... I'm going to say is pretty much confirmed. I think it's confirmed based on what we've just read from this document above. Now, the dates for these three, whether or not they're likely, I don't even care about speculating on it. This being the meat and potatoes of the content that comes out for TBC, the way that they specifically here talk about Black Temple, Zulaman, Sunwell, that indicates that this is correct. Tier 4 and 5 at launch, no need to break Tier 5 out into its own phase. It's just extra work for a team that is already probably just doing enough as it fucking is with the, with the, with the, the manpower that they've got. The sheer numbers of people working on it. So Tier 4 and 5 at launch, yeah. Black Temple Mount High Jail probably be wrapped into one patch, of course. Zulaman, a patch. Summer Plateau, a patch. That sounds about right. The dates? Nah, probably not. Maybe, probably not. This is the stuff that we need to still have answered that are fucking important. Now, no dual spec, I think confirmed. Don't think it's gonna happen. Wrathful Lich King is gonna happen. You're a fool if you think it won't. Now, these two things are important. Survey population adjustment and gold item restrictions. I don't, th I don't think either of them are gonna happen. I think they should a little, but I don't think they will. No additional racial balancing. That was never going to happen. Never. Never. Wait, I didn't mean to copy paste that one. Fucking hell. Yeah, they ain't doing that. This is probably in. I mean, you know, actually, I think it's safe to say that that's probably 100% confirmed. Let's spell words correctly. Boss nerf. So these are, the, these are the three pretty fucking important things that need to be addressed. And hopefully that's where they're going to tidy up with a deep dive tomorrow. Patch 2.4.3 as the baseline is very important for balancing of talents. Revered for heroic keys and attunements. This is integral to the longevity of tier 4 and 5 being in at launch. That, I think... Obviously, if people want to fucking do it fast, they're going to do it fast. They're going to do it way faster than you think is possible. They've already done it way faster than you think is possible, and they'll do it again. Just look at Classic. Prime example. But revered heroic keys and attunements are they are it's part of the process of feeling like you've made your way through the fucking game and you're ready to start knocking on bosses doors that combined with tier four and five being in at launch i think is spot on now the nerf for the bosses this happened basically towards the end of burning crusade sunwell was too hard i think and they nerfed bosses i hope they don't nerf bosses which again would assist the longevity of tier 4 and 5 being in right off the gate very, very nicely. Good synergy with the amount of content and meat and potatoes for people to get into. But also, it then means that even these fucking somewhat meh and weird wacky dates for the three patches or phases, it means that they're actually plausible because the content should be hard enough to last from February to August, September. 
At the same time, maybe Z Z A Z A won't be that difficult, but you gotta bear in mind, if you release a fucking content patch in the middle of summer, depending on the scenario, especially with COVID, if it's an opportunity for people to have their summer back in 2021 and go outside, they're gonna do it, man. Just see fucking people. See family and friends. So that, I don't know. Have to see. <sighs> pretty big. This has been a pretty big leak. Lots of stuff. Lots of stuff. The recap, of course, is that TBC is confirmed. TBC Classic is confirmed. We're going to be hopefully getting a sick-ass reveal slash announcement trailer tomorrow. And hopefully they go into um, a few of these details a little bit further in terms of tier four and five on release, the way that the server switching will happen. I'm sure they're going to explain it properly and thoroughly. Hopefully they allude to the possibility of a fresh classic server, the way that the pristine slash forever server will work for classic characters that aren't going across to, to Burning Crusade. And of course, the big one that they haven't said, and they've just said release date 2021 here, they need to give a release date. If they'd say anything about a beta or a release date tomorrow, fucking yes, let's go. Let's fucking go. And of course, to anybody who's, uh, who's a follower of the Twitch or of uh, a subscriber of the YouTube, I've got plenty of information here in one of my folders here. I've been, I've been researching a lot of stuff for Burning Crusade. Um, I've got a lot of content prepared, but I haven't bothered dropping any of it because I'm not interested in being first and I'm also not interested in being mega wrong. There's a lot of speculation. Depending on the baseline patch, depending on the, um, the boss nerf situation, and depending on tier 4 and 5 being in our launch, and depending on whether or not PvP arena season starts right out the gate or not that can fuck with a lot of the stuff that i want to cover in my videos so i've just been patiently waiting watching everybody else's videos taking all of their fucking ideas and getting all of my ducks in a row ready so i can give you some concise and accurate as possible content so if you're interested in more of that of course follow like subscribe all that shit also um don't subscribe on twitch do not do that just follow on twitch subscribe on youtube uh, and links to all the social media and shit will be in all the descriptions down below of course that is going to be it from me tbc classic confirmed